right people welcome back to the channel man you know what i mean it's been a minute for two people well you know what i mean today different kind of vlogging idea yeah. see today in the kitchen again and spice some food in the day yeah. see, I spice some food in the day yeah. so now make sister sophia tell her now what we are cooking in the day yeah. And your key John, why we in the kitchen in the day? Yeah? Alright, hold on then. Well, good morning everyone. Yes, y'all caught me in the kitchen. Today I'm in here preparing the ribs. I've already washed them and all. You know, miss that part. But anyway, today is a special day because it's our daughter Tasha's birthday. So we're having a little bit of a birthday get together for her. Just something small. You know, just us because you know she's not a fashion fashion lady. She doesn't like the outlaw and she likes at home cooking so. We're gonna cook a little ribs, we're gonna do a little bit of um, jerk chicken, we're gonna do a little brine stew chicken because she loves chicken. We got some macaroni and cheese coming, we got some beans and rice on the stove already. Just several different things just to make a day special. You know, also today is my other baby's birthday, my baby, Rayshawn's birthday. He's not here, but happy birthday to Google too. So we have two birthdays that we celebrate today, but today we're in Atlanta. Like I say, I'm in the kitchen. Get your ribs going. Yes, I got the baby bags going, so you will see them after I finish. Yes, and to the ones that say, oh, she didn't clean her, uh, her um, ribs. These are already washed. I already washed them before y'all came in. But anyway, you'll see the finished results. But stay tuned. All right, people, say so it. So for them, leave with the ribs. So she in the process now of seasoning them up. Right, so of it. Alright. I'll never get this open. <laughs> so trying to access our seasoning jars. Pound chart then. Alright, let me let me help her. Oh, she got it. Yeah, so that is the Louisiana um Cajun seasoning. Yes, and that just brings a different kind of flavor to the ribs, you know what I mean? That kind of kick there. Yeah. So what are you gonna do with these ribs now after you, after you season them up? I'm gonna take them over here and put them in this frying pan and sear them up a little bit. I, I like to put mine on the stove and kind of sear them a little bit and then I'll put them in the oven and let them continue barbecuing. And then we'll see, and then we will eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But yeah, a lot of people just take them and put them in the oven, but I want to let them cook, you know, like fry a little bit, and then I take them and put them in the oven. Alright, so over here, so now she have the um, ribs cooking. Yeah, so she's going to grease them up a little bit. Yeah, so now she's going to grease them up a little bit. She's going to grease them up a little bit. Yeah, she's going to grease them up a little bit. She's going to grease them up a little bit. She's going to grease them up a little bit. She's going to grease them up a little bit. Yes, guys. So if you have your ribs and you know how to do it like this, you're missing out. I don't know what you're missing. Okay. Catch this style. A lot of, a lot of flavor, flavor. that'd be so good. I don't eat ribs, but I just know that. Look, this style. Because if you just stuck them in the oven like that, then your season ain't going to be buying in that meat. So you just need to have them real bind in the meat. You know what I mean? Over here I got my, my peas going, you know what I mean? Authentically. No, no um canned peas today. Alright. Yeah man. So that's a go on the kitchen you guys. So when I'm reaching first turning process, then we check back in. 
And make sure you clean up as you go. Clean as you go. All and right. You have a dirty kitchen. No junky kitchen. All right, people, so. Rip them a sear up good enough. You see the color of them, just what you want with the one in the carrot. Come on, just like that. Yeah, man. Just don't sit down here, like I say. You don't have to put them all with them, just enough to let them sear and then take them and put them in the oven for a little while and let them finish cooking. Then you can apply your barbecue sauce if you want or if you don't want it. Some people don't like barbecue sauce, they do. But they already be flavored from frying them a little bit. Yes, because the um the frying what the frying do caramelize them and give them the yes. flavor. Lock the flavor in there, you know what I mean? And then it's even better once they lock that flavor in and stick them in the oven for a little while and then put that barbecue sauce on them. That's some good old time cooking. Yeah, grandma style. Grandma style. Uh, auntie style, whoever style, somebody style, but they good. Yeah. It's not no everybody style, it's grandma. <laughs> Grandma style. All right. Continue to cook. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, people. So the cooking never stops. As we said today, all day cooking. You see? Chicken and wash up. It's the vinegar. Yeah, man. You use up the vinegar and get the chicken clean. Yes, man. So, what kind of chicken that you make us out with that chicken now? The wings? These are going to be the fried wings. I'm going to fry these because we got a lot of other kind of chicken and so sometimes I just like a little piece of fried so I like the little wing it so I just to cook a few of these like I said because we already got jerk chicken also ain't gonna hurt to have a little fried something with it not too much though okay and this one is for the brown stew okay these are thighs so I'm gonna go ahead and brown stew these thighs all right yes man so over here now what I'm gonna do now is um all right and see she over there now um gonna give the ribs another flip and then i'm gonna take them out so see they got almost done you see? yes so what i'm gonna also do too is pour some cold water go ahead and pour some cold water on my peas you know what i mean get them sink again Yes, man. So if you're cooking peas and the, normally red peas, tough. So that's what you do. Keep on pouring cold water, pouring cold water. Yes, the ribs popping <laughs> until you know what I mean. That help tenderizes the um the, the 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 peas. Yes. So that's a trick. You can't say you never learn nothing today. In a few moments, I'm gonna take them out and put them over into the pan. And get them in the oven. Like I said, you don't have to get them all the way done. Yes, they're not all the way done. They, these just to give them some brown and let some of that flavor sit in them. And when you put them in the oven, of course, they're going to finish the cooking and then they'll be nice and tender and juicy. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so, go ahead now and um, take them out now, put in the, the oven. Check out the colors, guys. You know what I mean? As I said, you don't want to get them golden brown. This is not the, the reason why you, you fry them up. You know what I mean? It's just not even fry up. You give them a little sear, you know what I mean? You don't even have to cook them as much as I did if you don't want to. It's up to you. If you want to cook them enough that they do sear. All right. Just a little caramel look on them. Caramelize, and you can just take them out and put them over in your pan. Alright, so just like there that. they go. And just put them in and let them let them go. Let them let them cook if, a little bit more. If, if your ribs eat up, this should be enough for you. You know what I mean? Cook evenly and then put them on there and let them cook. All right, cover them up with you can cover them up with a little bit of little before I always pour just a little bit of this in there just to give it a little flavor, not much because you know it got oil in it, but it's just to give it just a little flavor. All right, so 
open just a little bit. Some crawl on them if you wanted to, or if you don't have to, it's your choice. And then, like I said, pop them in the oven, let them go. All right, all right, people. So, <laughs> barbecue process, yes, put on the barbecue. You can... We're not on a brush, so we'll use. Yeah, I don't know my brush yet, y'all. So I gotta use my spatula, but it works. But use it, I use a brush to brush them on, but. It's all gonna do the same thing. Just make sure you get barbecue sauce good on all of it. And the way the barbecue with sauce reach, pun them, them reach. That is your account for furniture? Mm-hmm. Just gotta make sure I got enough room in here for all of them. Guys, I got to tell you, man, this ribs, the, 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 the smell coming from this ribs already, insane, you know what I mean? That's why I say put them in the up, you know, I mean, not in the up, but fry them a little bit first, and you know, you'll get a better result. They taste so good. Yeah, man, because as I said, you fry them, that, 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 that sear thing there, just lock the flavor in them. Just toss them around. Just lock the flavor. Toss them around. Don't be scared to toss them around. Ain't nothing gonna happen to it. Just get me. No flavor to them. Come yeah, on, so. After Sister Sophie finish that. I stop, back in, pop, them, pop back them back in the oven, oven again. So they just finish cooking with that barbecue sauce on them. And then them bad boys will be falling off the bone. Mm -hmm. so, just place them back however you want them. And you know Pacific way you gotta put them in the pan so they gonna still cook. <laughs> Everybody gonna find their rightful place. Mm -hmm. So. All right. so back in they go. Guys, the peas, it's already boiled, but I like my peas boil until, you know what I mean, they start mashing. So there they go. They just boil, they boil, but as I said, I like my peas. I don't like eat my peas like the peanuts. You know what I mean? I like my peas to be mashing my rice and peas, you know what I mean? So, no rush, no rush. All day we're cooking, all day. We got another time on our hands. <laughs> all right. So, here they go again. Yes, so, so stuck them back in the oven. Yes, man. All right, people. Here they go. All right. So stop them back in. And but like I said, put the luna ball on it. I have to make sure to get some, but you put a little bit of luna ball over them. Keep the heat. All right, that is it. All right, guys, I'm not sure if the angle of my camera is clicking right, but we're gonna go ahead now and um, pop the milk, coconut milk in the um, in the peas. Yeah, a little bit frozen, a little bit hard because it's actually cold. So it's kind of a little bit hard up in the can. But nevertheless, that can stop the show. This is the peas. So what I'm actually doing now at this moment is go ahead and season up my pot. Some people season the pot before the peas even boil. But I season my pot after my peas boil. You know what I mean? Some people season it meanwhile. No, I don't do that. 
So what I'm doing here is catching the water in my can just to make sure everything out of the can. Nothing can waste, nothing can dash wet. Alright? So we gonna make the peas now. Coconut nut boil now in the peas. Alright, so wipe the pot for put our chicken wing in up. So stick and stay with my guys. When we come back, we'll finish season the pot. Now go wash, wash the seasoning then you know. And make sure it's uh, the season of the pot right and proper. Going over to the pot guys. So we're going to put one. We'll make sure look. Yes. That's flavor right there. That's nothing but flavor. That's nothing but flavor guys. And with this now, what you're gonna do is put salt to taste. And if you have pimento seed, otherwise known as all-purpose berry, you drop you about a dozen of them in there and you know what I mean? That's flavor again. So as I said, stay with me in the kitchen, man. A madness to them, man. All right, people, so check out my rice and peas. Rice and peas ready. Yeah, man, ready. Yeah, man. Epic rice and peas. So guess what happened now, we have to put this to the back, you know? Because straight front burner me I use. So, I'm going to put this to the back, you know? Alright. Yes, people, so look at this. See? Vegetable. Ready? I've got stuck in the fridge now. If you go and keep chill, you know what I mean? It's a mad thing, man. As I said, mad thing. Put some grease in the pot for me. Yeah, man. As I said, people, sorry for me kind of video in today, you know what I mean? I don't have no video personnel to hold the camera and I forgot my tripod. So right here, so now, I have brown up some chicken. So I just not too long flip them. Yeah, I just not too long flip them. So I did it, go and give me a proper sear. And I'm going to throw it before. Rice and peas over here, so ready. Right, mac and cheese not the oven. Mac and cheese not the oven. Ribs not the oven. Yeah, man. So we are going to do the thing. We still not touch the fish yet. Still have the fish. So stick and stay, man. All right, people. So some chance for chance for it over at this part now with a little of that grease. So we have a tip. We'll throw some water now on the vegetables on it. Cover it down. Cover it down. And make him go on. Cook. Yeah man, just like that. Just like that. Your, your scallion, your thyme, your onion, your carrot. Let me tell you, man. Look, see how good it look? I'm not going to tell you. It tastes twice as good. Alright, people. So, as we are telling you now, we will be cooking, you know. So, over here, so we have some wings. Yeah, man. Some wings, you know what I mean? And over here, so now we have the, the fricasseed chicken. Yeah, man. So, the scotch bonnet on top. Yeah, man, for the spice, man. Just like that, people. Look at that. Yeah, man, with a bad gravy on it. Just like that. 
wings again. Over here, so mac and cheese going more over, the rice and peas. I should tell you, man. Poor people, birthday party, and all this food. <laughs> This could make no sense. But it's not, it's not actually four people. It's one person's birthday. We just here celebrating it. <laughs> Dash birthday. <laughs> All right, people. So, um, we still not roll out the fish yet. The fish still in the refrigerator. So, as I said, it's the water going on so far. Yes. Yeah, man. So, we're roll out the fish on a seawater go on. Alright guys, so we're gonna come back. It's the wild one. Yes man. The salmon is steak I fry up. You know what I mean? And now fry it out to dry. So just a frying pot we have to take him out. And then we drop the two snap of them in. Yes. Continue to bounce the ball because we are set. We have a lot of food almost done still. We have the rum punch to finish me and put the champagne to chill here now. The craziness I got happen, man. Crazy craziness I got happen. Alright everyone, so we're finally done. Yeah, we are finally done with Cash's birthday meal. Like we say, you know, it's not a lot, but you know, it's enough for us to be together on her birthday, you know. Thank God that she lived to see 23 years and wish her many more. So here's the feast. We have the Jamaican toast cloth. We have the Jamaican tea and the rice. Of course we have the birthday cake over there later. We have no other than Mr. Bearley himself. All right, Big Ross. We have the wings. We have the ribs. We have fish. We have brown stew brown chicken. chicken, mac and cheese, and of course some fruit to top it off. And over on the corner, we have some homemade rum punch made by no other than Mr. Mr. Bennett. Bennett himself. And I can tell you that rum pump will knock you off your feet because he made it for my birthday party and the people went home tipsy and couldn't get up the next day for work. So be careful with the rum punch. Yeah. So guys, if you want some rum punch, just comment in the comment section. So, Jamelia, are you going to take a seat around the table so we can get you digging in? Oh, we or, didn't even introduce the birthday girl. Here's your birthday girl and her little bundle of joy, Miss Dior. <laughs> you want to get out by you? All right, so there go the birthday girl. Okay, birthday. Lady. Say hi to the team. Tell her, hey, Dior. Say <laughs> my mommy birthday. <laughs> All right, that's my little grandbaby right there. All right, so, guys, as I said, it's my daughter's birthday. So, you know what I mean? We have to go all out for this one, you know what I mean? Nice little settings and thing and thing. So, people, this is it as I walk around the table. The fruits, the mac and cheese, everything. So, if you introduce her to the table already and everything and everything and everything. So, we're going to have Miss Nam bless the table, bless the food. So, Sister Ready, if you could just come forward, ma'am. And have a seat and bless the table. Mm. Mm. Come on, sister, ready, man. Come on. She's coming. Come on, sister, ready. Okay. Guys, just, 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 just look meanwhile, sister, ready. Come on to bless the table. She moving a little cranky tonight. So oh, she won't even an old dinner. Mm. Oh Lord. Mm. My sister already ain't going to be able to come and bless the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or she going to bless the table for her grandbaby. Nice. This is her, I just, this I'm her just, kidney, so she's going to bless her <laughs> for her baby. I just can't wait to dig down in that salmon, I tell you. That salmon should be busting. I know it's busting. All right, Miss Brady, are you ready? Miss Sister already, um, the, 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 the people, the YouTube world would like to hear the prayer, so you gotta, you can't whisper, you gotta say the prayer loud. Hold on, let me pause the TV. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
let me pause the TV. Ah, uh, what the TV pause? Mute? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bib? Ready? No, All right. <laughs> Everybody come now, everybody digging in. Yes, because the food is already blessed. And everybody digging in to soft it with our plate. Yes, I gotta pause Gracie a little bit. Don't wanna get no copyright strike. You know, that's my granddaughter's favorite cartoon. All right, Miss Nam, I'll see you over there. Yes, Jamila. Ready? Hmm? Ready? Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so from my table, you know what I mean? I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Yeah, it's a pretty foody one. Tasha need a spoon for that. Yes, so um, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. So guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, just please hit the subscription button, like this video, share this video, because as you see, it's food and food galore. Food can feed what? About 20 people? And it's just four of us. We're going on food for days. What are the days? No, no, not for days. So we'll be doing the big fish Thanksgiving Day. So stay tuned because we'll be back. All right. So stick and stay for the Thanksgiving bash. Pay food. <laughs>